Hi everyone, welcome to week 11, and let's see what we're doing this week. So week 11, let's check out our study resources. So it looks like there's a lot, but it's not too bad. Um, the biggest thing we're doing is our two sample hypothesis testing, um, confidence intervals, our probability distribution calculator, um, and all of that really is just covered through here. So here are your different videos. Um, the quiz is going to be over the confidence interval stuff. So the confidence interval is where you're going to get the quizzes, uh, the two sample hypothesis testing, and the t-test mini tab examples. That's going to help you um, with your other this assignment right here, a hypothesis testing with means. So this is where um, all of that will come in. So this one we're actually going to work on in class. Um, you can technically work on it ahead of time if you want, um, but we will be kind of, I'll be going over how to do it in class um, and doing an example, and then you'll be able to go through and do it in class if you want, um, but you can work on it ahead of time. The big thing is um, it's kind of like a worksheet. So it's not really a quiz, it's more like homework. Uh, there is no time limit, um, but you only get one, one attempt. So you can go in and out of this assignment as many times as you want, just don't click the submit button. Uh, your answers will automatically save. So you can go in and out as much as you want. Um, it is due at the end of class though. So, well, technically it's due at the end of class, uh, but in case people are late, but um, you can start it early if you'd like. It's out there, it's available, uh, and technically any information you would need to do it is right here in the t-test mini tab examples. Uh, this one right here, the second video, would help you do that if you want to work on it early. Just remember, do not click submit until you are really done with it. So you could work on it ahead of time, then come to class, ask any questions, um, or hear what I have to say, and then work on it some more and submit it in class if you want. So if you look, we've got that in class. The other thing we're doing in class is Project 3 Part 2. Uh, for that one, you're going to review the feedback you got on Project 3 Part 1, make any needed corrections, adjustments, then collect your data. Um, you'll then need this and how to submit. You need your Word or Excel document with this information and a mini tab file with your prices. So basically you need to have already collected your data by this point and you just need to be making sure that you're putting this data into the table. So, and then if you want to play around and maybe do some of the um, two sample hypothesis testing, technically you could, but the biggest thing is you just want to make sure uh, that you bring the data and that you either enter it in ahead of time or that you enter it in during class. So that's what we're doing there. Um, you've been to discussion 11, margin of error, right here. So here's the assignments. Basically, you're going to review this article, and then you're going to go find your own online article um, that has 2016 presidential poll results. Um, so what people were planning to do or did vote, so how they were planning to vote or how they did vote for Hillary and Donald Trump. Uh, including the margin of error, and then provide the link, and then just kind of explain uh, what the source means based on that. So other than that, we've got uh, chapter four, quiz two, and in this one, that's where I said you're going to want to use um, this confidence interval right here, this one. That's what you're going to use this video. So I think that pretty much sums up um, what we're doing week 11. Hopefully, you know, seems like a pretty easygoing week. Uh, I hope you guys think so as well.